I'm Madwe Abachella coming to you live from my car. <sighs> There's so much I could talk about today because it's been forever since I've done a live. It feels like, even though it's only been, what, two and a half months of the year, I've been, I've been traveling a lot. Um, I've been meeting awesome new people and reconnecting with some old friends. And it dawned on me this weekend something that I had completely forgotten about. And when that conversation started about my wedding, and I'll get to it in a second, I was like, oh my God, like how many things have occurred, have happened over the past, I don't know, two, three years or more than you almost forget, you know? And it's so tempting to get stuck on what's not working now because it's it could be frustrating, it could be um, disappointing, it could be disheartening, but I can guarantee your friends that in no time somebody somebody's gonna come tell you, hey, Erica, Mary, you know, Anna, do you remember when this happened? And you would be like, oh my God, that happened? That was just two years ago? That was just three years ago? It feels like forever. I don't know if it's happened to you, but let me tell you about what happened to me this weekend. So I just got back from Denver. And by the way, thank you everyone for joining me. I guess this must be a juicy topic because there's a bunch of people here on the live. So, okay, so I'm in Denver and this friend of mine um, comes to see me and she participates in my one day mastermind. And we're having drinks at the end, you know, and she was like, yeah, the last time I um, went to Mexico was for your wedding and you didn't show up. And I was like, what? And it, it's almost like part of what she said resonated, but part of it didn't. And I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, yeah, dude, we went to, I had already purchased my tickets for your wedding, but obviously it didn't happen. And I was like, oh my gosh, that feels like a lifetime or 10 lifetimes ago. And here's the thing, guys, most of you don't know this about me, or maybe you do, I don't know, but I was engaged to be married and it happened really fast. I found out I was expecting February 1st, 2013, and my whole life changed. I had a visa in hand to move to Australia. I um, So I had a visa in hand to move to Australia. I believe the visa arrived January 30th, February 1st. I found out I was pregnant. And by February 14th, Valentine's Day 2013, me and my boyfriend at the time, we were engaged. And we had this aggressive schedule. So we had a wedding scheduled for April 19th, 2013. And we let our friends know. And we, you know, we put a money down on the venue in Cabo. And everything I'm telling you right now sounds like I'm talking about a different person because I am a different person. But but it's still me. Like I do actually did this. I actually booked a venue, put a money down. I was out shopping for a wedding dress when my whole life changed. And I'm not going to get into details about that. But the reason I wanted to bring this up is because guys, that was one of the most difficult times in my life when I had to cancel the wedding, when I had to tell everybody, Hey guys, you know, I can't give you any details, but we're not getting married and I am pregnant and I don't have a job. And everything that was on my vision board about leaving my job, moving to Australia, working from my laptop, you know, helping people. I remember this time around in my life, I was like, I just wanted to make a thousand dollars a month doing coaching. Like I just wanted to help people and get kind of paid for it. And, um, and as soon as I said the yes to that, all these things happened. And my partner at the time, he fell deathly ill overnight. Um, in, in, it was like terrible. It was terrible. And those five months that I went through terrible uncertainty, like really difficult stuff, um, you know, being pregnant, like no job, like starting my business from scratch in the, in very uncertain and adverse circumstances, or at least what they felt like to me, it was so difficult. It was so, I mean, I remember living on my knees, but I also remember that there was a part of me that knew that this was my seminar story, that that was part of my seminar story. And I wanted to share this video with you today and, and this message, because how many of you are going through something that feels like it's eternal? You feel like it's lasting forever and, and it won't, and it doesn't. And when my friend brought that up this weekend, that she's like, I went to your wedding and you didn't show up for it. I was like, oh my gosh, I... I've been through so much since then that I almost forgot I nearly got married. And obviously, you know, everything happens for a reason and that was not the timeline of my life that I was supposed to go on. And that, you know, that's okay. You know, we're, we're better people because that didn't happen and because I had to heal from that not happening and everything else that came undone when that was 
um, when that was going to happen. I am who I am because of all that. Um, but how many, I, I thought that that tunnel was eternal. I really did. It was, it was fun. And sorry, I got a call. And, and now I look back and I almost didn't remember it. So my wish for you is that you know, even if you're going through something difficult or something that you remember that at one point you're, you're not even going to remember the details of the pain that you're experiencing right now because you won't. Like, honestly, you won't. I didn't remember, I didn't remember this. And I wasn't even embarrassed. I was just like, wow, I had three friends. And if you're watching this, if you're watching this, thank you for going to my wedding, even though it didn't happen. And, but yeah, it's like, you never know what details are painful right now that you're going through that in, in, Four years you're not even going to remember and that's been my case so